Now at 5, an ambulance on an emergency call. Part of a nasty accident after a car slams into it. The ambulance winding up on its side. Good evening. I'm Ken Bastida. And I'm Elizabeth Cook. Paramedics were trying to save one life when they ended up being part of a bigger emergency. The car apparently T-boned the ambulance at the busy intersection of Hesperian and Llewellyn Boulevards in San Lorenzo. Chopper 5 over the scene, still an active investigation more than five hours after the violent collision. You can see the ambulance still at the scene. That's where KPIX 5 Susie Steimel is live for us. Susie? And Liz, those paramedics have confirmed for us that they were operating lights and sirens at the time of this crash. It was a code three emergency that they were rushing this 74 year old woman to the hospital to. And they say right now it's still unclear whether her death was caused by her previous emergency or the crash here itself. And we also know that there was a firefighter and a paramedic in the back of that ambulance with her that ignored their own injuries trying to save her life. This ambulance was already in the middle of an emergency call when it collided with this Audi. A firefighter and paramedic were with a female patient in the back when this more than 10,000 pound vehicle flipped onto its side. Uh, there are five patients in total that were transported to local hospitals for a various uh, amount of injuries. Despite suffering injuries themselves, emergency personnel stayed in triage mode. Our firefighter who was injured uh, self-extricated after, after the incident and was able to provide emergency medical care to the patients on scene and uh, assisted with coordinating incoming resources. Rob Lawrence of Paramedics Plus saw those employees at Eden Medical Center earlier this afternoon. Yeah, I've actually been to hospital, I've been to visit them. Uh, they are in good spirits, but they're getting checked over as we speak. I heard a boom and I was in the stockroom and I thought it was an earthquake. Kimberly is one of dozens of people who was working nearby during this accident. The busy intersection of Hesperian and Llewellyn has been closed since just after 11 a.m. this morning. This is like a main artery for this area. So we, it has affected our business since noon. Um, we're normally pretty hopping yeah. in the afternoon. So it's, it's very sad, very unfortunate. Right now, everyone else who was involved in the crash has been released from the hospital with the exception of that Audi driver. He's still hospitalized. He is not facing any charges right now. And CHP says that they're gathering surveillance video from some nearby businesses and from some stoplights here that they're hoping will let them know exactly what caused the crash. Liz. All right, Susie, thank you.